As a solo rap artist, Soldier Boy is known to be at the forefront of many groundbreaking trends since he entered the music industry in 2007. He's widely recognized as the first big internet rapper. When YouTube first started streaming videos in December of 2005, Soldier Boy uploaded his first video three months later, adopting the platform when he was only 15 years old. Thanks to TikTok, there have been more dance crazes and contests than you care to remember. But back in 2007, Soldier Boy's self-produced crank dent spawned its own dance craze, multiple others, and hundreds if not thousands of YouTube dance performances and tutorials that rapidly spread across the internet. This might be a near daily occurrence now, but that definitely wasn't the case back in 2007. Also, when you consider how all your favorite rappers are flooding the market with multiple albums every year instead of one album every two years and then touring in between with business models of the past, Soldier Boy was ahead of the game in that era too. He dropped two albums in his first year, 2007, and in the 2010s, he kept his foot on the gas, releasing two projects in 2014, three in 2015, and four in 2016. But when it comes to Soldier Boy's record label, Stax on Deck Entertainment, or Stax on Deck Money Gang, SODMG, unfortunately, Soldier's advanced entrepreneurial instincts haven't worked out as well as they did for his own career. Here are some reasons why Soldier Boy's SODMG label has seen a sad demise compared to other rapper-owned record labels. One of the biggest problems that have interrupted Soldier Boy's ability to run his label Stacks on Deck has been his continuous cycle of industry beef. Sure, they keep his name in the media, but the drama tends to be such a big distraction that you start to wonder what it all has to do with his music. It also has probably made potential collaborators want to step away from him to avoid the negative heat. There was also that time in 2016 when it seemed like Soldier Boy was picking a fight with Lil Yachty. The tension started when Soldier posted photos of himself and model and aspiring artist at the time India Love together on Instagram. Then Soldier went a step further and posted a screenshot of Lil Yachty asking him to pull the photos down. But all this caused Soldier to do was keep posting more and more photos. What was Lil Yachty's take on the situation? When Lil Yachty was on the radio station 97.9 The Box, Yachty gave his take on the tension between himself and Soldier Boy. It was not a fight, it was a cry for attention. I did not respond, I was not a part of that, nobody even took that serious. I didn't take that serious. He took it serious, but nobody else took that serious. That was not a real rap beef. The static between Soldier Boy and Bow Wow was much more ongoing and itself took some strange turns. In July of 2008, Bow Wow dropped Marco Polo with the guest feature from Soldier Boy, which was originally going to be the lead single from Bow Wow's New Jack City 2 album that came out in March of 2009. But the inclusion of Marco Polo on Bow Wow's album as a single was cancelled due to a feud between Bow Wow and Soldier Boy, and the song was reduced to a bonus track on the album. In December of 2008, Soldier Boy made an 8 minute video containing a controversial statement saying that Nas killed hip hop when Nas came out publicly and said hip hop is dead, as the title of Nas's 2006 album. In January of 2009, this comment got Bow Wow upset and he distanced himself further from Soldier Boy. In January, in a freestyle over Jay Z's friend or foe, in which he raps, I'd never disrespect Nas, I'm not Soldier Boy, things escalated and Soldier Boy challenged Bow Wow to a race in their Lamborghinis and would later even drop a diss track called F Bow Wow. Bow Wow hit back with the song What I Think About You over Tupac's Hit Him Up. And in, even in 2016, years later, Soldier Boy said in an interview that he and Bow Wow had finally squashed their beef, and that same year the two dropped a joint mixtape with 11 tracks called Ignorant Ish. Then there's Arab. In this flashback, Arab spoke about his relationship with Soldier Boy souring around 2010 while he was on Vlad. He explained that he was on the Most Wanted tour with Lil Wayne, which he said he left after having a misunderstanding with Soldier Boy. Arab added that he didn't want to leave Soldier Boy's SODMG label, but he wanted to remain friends. When asked about the misunderstanding on the Lil Wayne tour, Arab explained that they were playing with BB guns in a hotel room when a BB gun ricocheted off the wall, or BB ricocheted off the wall, hit a spray paint can and sprayed all over the room. Arab then explained that he was looking to do more with his career, which is why he had wanted to leave SODMG. The Miami rapper and producer Space Ghost Perp took to Twitter at the end of January 2012, accusing Soldier Boy of stealing Lil B's style. Lil B used to be signed to Stacks on Deck for a moment, or was strongly affiliated. The clash continued as Soldier Boy took ASAP Rocky's side when Rocky was beefing with Perp and got into a feud in 2012. Oddly enough, four years later in 2016, Space Ghost Perp released a Soldier Boy diss track, but the beef just kind of disappeared as Space Ghost Perp just tends to diss everyone. In June of 2012, Riff Raff, an ex-SODMG rapper from Houston, 
was accused by Soldier Boy via Twitter of using him and the SODMG brand to launch his own career, even going as far as calling Riff Raff a cokehead. Riff Raff responded by saying that there's no beef with Soldier Boy and simply said that the reason he walked away from the SODMG label was that Soldier Boy wasn't paying him. In April of 2013, Soldier Boy allegedly got his chain snatched by a member of Chicago drill rapper Chief Keef's crew. Soldier Boy threatened to kill Chief Keef, who then went as far as to share Soldier Boy's phone number. The next road of this conflict was Soldier Boy suddenly saying that his Twitter was hacked and that he had no issues with Chief Keef. After this, the two exchanged diss tracks and finally squashed it via FaceTime on June 3rd, 2014. Similar to the way Soldier's feud with Bow Wow ended by making music together, Soldier Boy and Chief Keef would also do the same and record some songs. In December of 2016, one of the most infamous beefs, Soldier ignited yet another beef with Migos member Quavo, who was very close with him, after assuming that he had been dissed by Quavo, posting a screenshot of a conversation between himself and Quavo, and then posting an Instagram video that showed Soldier Boy playing his Migos diss track Beef, where he says, Quavo say he wants some beef with me. Quavo responded with threats to Soldier Boy, apparently lumping Soldier Boy in the category of fake gangster rappers. Once Soldier Boy got arrested, though, the beef started to simmer down. In 2017, it seemed like Soldier Boy needed a whole new internet beef to get focus again, and this time he went after an A-lister, Chris Brown. Using Instagram, Soldier Boy commented with heart eyes emojis on a photo that Chris Brown's ex-girlfriend Carucci uploaded. Chris Brown was upset enough to call Soldier Boy to let him know that he wasn't happy about it. Soldier took another play out of his trolling handbook and once again aired the issue out publicly. The back and forth remarks got to the point that they were going to settle it in a celebrity fight organized by Adrian Broner and Mayweather Promotions but this appeared to be all for attention because it never happened. Even though Drake featured Soldier Boy on this We Made It remix back in 2013, that working relationship seemed to be thrown out the window in 2019 when Soldier had some not so respectful things to say about Drake during an appearance at The Breakfast Club, which became an infamous meme when he proclaimed, Stop playing like I ain't teach Drake everything he knows. This came after Charlemagne declared Drake the biggest rapper in the world, further getting under Soldier Boy's skin for some reason upset enough to suggest that Drake stole his flow from his 2007 track Was Hannon In in order to create the Thank Me Later single Miss Me. If that wasn't enough conflict to get in the way of Soldier Boy being able to build and promote the artist that he once had on SODMG, there were also disparaging remarks that Soldier Boy has made about 21 Savage, Charles Hamilton, Fabulous, Jizza, Ice-T, Kanye West, Kiki Palmer, Kodak Black, LeBron James, and many others. It would be a surprise if Soldier Boy's trust in other rappers was really low, especially after he was a victim of a home invasion. Rapper Droop and his crew went on Vlad TV claiming that Soldier Boy stole the Crank That Soldier Boy dance and other stylistic elements from Droop. With that said, when they showed up to Soldier Boy's Atlanta home in 2008 to confront Soldier about that and other business discrepancies, an argument popped off that led to Droop claiming to have slapped Soldier open handedly and again, even after Soldier allegedly drew a gun on him. Next, he claimed that Soldier fired his gun at Droop 16 times, hitting him with five bullets. He also alleges that he wasn't wearing a mask, he wasn't armed, and he never had the intention of robbing Soldier Boy. But when Soldier Boy told his side of the story, he claimed that he yanked a mask off an armed thief inside his home like a Scooby-Doo episode. And after doing so, realized he knew the individual. Droop ended up serving about a year for trespassing, and he claims that Soldier hasn't been able to perform in Atlanta after this event. It also appears that Soldier's story of this situation has changed multiple times during different interviews, making it harder to know who to believe. In 2016, not only did Soldier seem to have gotten caught exaggerating about getting a $400 million deal with World Poker Fund Holdings, a company that apparently wasn't even worth anything close to that amount in the first place, Soldier Boy made it even harder to be taken seriously as a businessman when he fired his entire roster of SODMG artists. On May 30, 2016, Soldier Boy went on Twitter and posted, God is great, so thankful for the blessings, and thanks for blessing me to see the snakes and remove them from my life. Needed that. Not only did Soldier Boy state that he was going to be starting all over with new SODMG artists, but he also said that the ones he got rid of were because they were snakes that couldn't be trusted when he couldn't get half of them off the ground. The sad thing about Stacks on Deck Music Group is that it was established in 2004, and there are no big name artists currently signed with the closest thing to recognizable artists being Lil B and Riff Raff, neither of whom put an album out on SODMG. In fact, that label has only released some mixtapes of other artists. The only person who ever put out any actual albums on SODMG is Soulja Boy himself. 
In 2021, for a quick moment, it seemed like things might be heating up again for SODMG. When Soldier Boy announced he was signing Chet Hanks, who changed his name to Chet Hanks with an X, the son of Hollywood actor Tom Hanks. In a short video, Soldier Boy proclaimed, It's going down, man. Chet Hanks, man, my new artist, signed to SODMG Records as the first rapper signed this year. It's going down, Big Draco, we about to make history, you know what I'm saying? SODMG album on the way, just wait. But for those that actually expected an album, there has been nothing more than one song that dropped back on Halloween of 2021 featuring Soldier Boy called I Fucks With You. If you look at many of Chet Hanks' Instagram posts from 2022, they're associated with the promotion of his fitness programs. He isn't even listed as a rapper on Instagram. It says that he's an entrepreneur, making it even less likely that dropping music with SODMG is any kind of priority to him. Soldier Boy's efforts to connect with the video gaming world by making an impact on platforms like Twitch may have seemed like a clever way to grow the SODMG brand and connect with gamers, but there are also occasions that have backfired and made people question his intentions. Back in 2018, Soldier Boy seemed to have legally gone on the bad side of video game giant Nintendo for selling knockoff game consoles that came preloaded with hundreds of unlicensed games. This led to Soldier having to pull his website down, but he still tried to double back later with more suspect video game devices called the TRDR Pocket, which is actually based on a pre-existing device called Retroid Pocket. If these business embarrassments weren't enough, he got caught lying about another video game venture. Soldier Boy came out of nowhere and told the world that he bought the famed video game company Atari, claiming he had a contract. But a Twitter user was able to reveal that the contract said Atari Tokens, which happened to be Atari's cryptocurrency. This had nothing to do with Soldier having any shares in or ownership of Atari, no matter how much he ranted and raved about it at the time. Even Atari's Twitter account was able to debunk Soldier Boy's claims about owning Atari by pointing out that Wade Rosen was still the CEO of the company. In 2023, it was assumed that Stacks on Deck Music Group had three artists, and one of those three is Soldier Boy himself. The other two artists having a business relationship with SODMG is debatable. The first one is Low 100, who was originally dropped back in 2016, back when Soldier Boy did that massive sweep of every artist on his label. Low 100 doesn't appear to be that active. The other is 24 Hours, who has been dropping music over the past couple of years under various company names such as Daydreams Are Rare Records and Private Club Records. He's also made in Tokyo's brother, and they've had their own thing going on since they came into the game. Then when you go to the Instagram for Stacks on Deck Music Group as of February 2023, you'll see a different story, which is there are two other artists signed to Soldier Boy, one named Flo Malcolm and the other is Hood Trophy Bino. Between 2021 and 2022, Flo Malcolm released three albums under SODMG, none of which show visible streaming numbers on Spotify at the moment. Then as far as Hood Trophy Bino, he has three singles labeled as SODMG that all came out in 2023, Shake Some, Joint, and What I Got On. These three songs also haven't registered any Spotify play numbers that are visible yet. Both Hood Trophy Bino and Flo Malcolm must still be working their way up to gaining popularity, or maybe they just aren't getting enough backing and promotion from SODMG. Either way you look at it, SODMG seems to only be benefiting Soldier Boy and only having ever benefited Soldier Boy. It's been proven time and time again that it's difficult for any famous rapper to run a record label and create other stars at their level, especially when they're focused on their own career. But when you take a closer look at SODMGs.com, the website for SODMG, the digital domain looks more like a fan club. It's a social network site for Soldier Boy and it makes no mention of his roster of artists and you won't find any links to the music of Soldier Boy's artists, past or present. Then there is Stacks on Deck Music Group website, sodmg.shop, where you can buy merchandise like Stacks on Deck t-shirts, hoodies, and beanies. But again, this is just SODMG merch, and you won't find any items that are associated with any SODMG artist. Drake hasn't created another Drake on OVO Sound. The closest we've seen is Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records signed Kanye West and Dr. Dre with Snoop Dogg and Eminem. But to be honest, it may have been easier for Jay-Z because he had two partners running the day-to-day -day business while he focused on recording and touring, and Dr. Dre was predominantly a producer more than a rapper. But Soldier Boy might be better off focusing on his own legacy instead of taking on the responsibility of building careers for others, which he's so far seen incompetent at. With so much of what people remember about him being associated with the wild statements that he made about other rappers, and a few exaggerations that have proven to not be true, Soldier Boy and his Stacks on Deck brand still has plenty of time to stay focused on catering to his own individual fan base with music, merchandise, and hopefully steer clear of trolling in any video game consoles. Make sure to subscribe for more.